वेलकम बैक टू टेस्टनेट फ्रैप दिस इज द ओनली पोर्टल सोली डेडिकेटेड फॉर टेस्टनेट प्रिपरेशन नाउ मोस्ट ऑफ द कॉल्स दैट वी गेट फ्रॉम दी स्टूडेंट्स एस्पेरेंट्स एंड इन फैक्ट आर ऑल इनरोल्ड स्टूडेंट्स दे आर मेजर कंसर्न इज मैथमेटिक्स द रीजन इज दैट मेजोरिटी ऑफ द पीपल आर फ्रॉम नॉन मैथ बैकग्राउंड ह्यूमैनिटीज बैकग्राउंड मेडिसिन बैकग्राउंड कॉमर्स बैकग्राउंड एंड देर ऑफकोर्स फ्यू पीपल मेजरली इंजीनियर्स फ्रॉम द मैथमेटिक्स बैकग्राउंड नाउ this being a social science college so definitely people from humanities or non mass background apply in good numbers so the major concern is or uh, their pain area is the quantitative sections of testnet knowing that its weightage is 30 out of 100 and this is a very scoring section so this section cannot be discounted in overall preparation to say otherwise if you have to score good in testnet you will have to definitely ensure that you are scoring good at quants now with our experience we have seen that there are few major issues with the students uh, and major mistakes that students do while preparing for the quantitative aptitude so let's take up those mistakes one by one then we'll tell you how exactly your strategy should be to score Uh, a very good marks in testnet definitely we are targeting at least 25 plus out of 30 in testnet and if we look at the difficulty level of this section it's definitely easy to medium it's not at all tough to any extent also looking at the nature of this particular section it's very very scoring if you prepare well the chances are very bleak that you will not score good okay so let's quickly find out the common mistakes that students do in this particular section and i hope that most of you would relate to it see the common mistake is that student do that they find out the weightage of each of the topics and they start studying according to the weightage uh, on the face of it it looks uh, really a good uh, uh, approach to take up any uh, chapter or a subject but eventually it does not work that way i'll explain you how exactly it works and what is the big flaw in that so aap weightage dekh lete ho you know ki kis particular topic se kitne question aaye kiska zyada weightage hai usko aap directly attack karte ho this is a major mistake that students do dusri baat you are studying from very uh, bulky books and uh, i don't want to name them but uh, let's say arun sharma rs agarwal nishad sena or whatsoever those are big books or heavy books to cover majority of the aptitude exams do you really need to cover that to complete or to you know <coughs> score good in testnet definitely no so that is again a major mistake another problem with those those books are very good you know the questions are great the authors are great uh, but uh, if you look into the solutions the whole approach and the extent or the vastness of the syllabus it's too vast for testnet we really do not require that much so that needs to be uh, <coughs> boiled down to whatever what uh, uh, that is needed third common mistake that i see with student is that they think that this mathematics section is not aptitude but completely mathematics which is the other way it's all about aptitude and students are more looking to grasp some more formula so that can directly apply in the questions and are able to solve majority of the topic so that really doesn't happen whoever who have been good at mathematics or aptitude specifically will never say that aptitude is a formula driven uh, uh, topic now this is something psychological that students from humanities background or non math background they have given up mathematics mostly after 10th for whatever reason because they didn't want to pursue their career further in uh, mathematics or subjects allied to mathematics or they were not good at it so a lot of mental block against this subject is there for no reason so definitely if you are trying to prepare for this exam at least be neutral towards it you don't have to create or give yourself a constant signal ki aap se nahi ho sakta it's very tough you are very bad at mathematics just be very neutral as you are neutral to any new subject that's okay that i don't know but that's completely fine if i put efforts i'll definitely score well or i'll excel in this particular topic so this is this 
affects a lot it's all about your confidence uh, confidence in what you study confidence in yourself and the confidence in the material that you are uh, referring to another is random youtube channels you know definitely we have very good youtube channels who have taught uh, the faculties or the teachers have taught in detail the aptitude but again it boils down ki are those topics or lectures that is covered in ex in terms of vastness of the topic is that really required for testnet as a smart student you should really know ki to what level i have to approach a particular topic right so most of the uh, famous uh, teachers on youtube have taken aptitude in detail but as an aspirant you should know ki aapko kahan tak jana hai unse kitna padhna hai so if that smart approach you can devise that smart approach then it's fine but those all uh, lectures are very generic they try to cover maximum exams through those right so it may not help you as effectively at is as it is needed so these are the common mistakes that we have found and most of the time people spend a good number of time ek mahine do mahine teen mahine wo spend kar dete hain isi tarah se kuch figure out karte hue so please stop doing these mistakes now let's come to ki what should be your approach let's talk about the approach in mathematics and this has worked for good number of people we have been teaching for testnet for last 9 years now and trust me it uh, helped good number of people and this seems very uh, effective uh, for students who have followed it and i'll try to explain you how exactly your approach should be see <coughs> as you have been out of touch for uh, with math for a long time so there needs some fundamentals that you need to know that you will be constantly applying those fundamental tools of mathematics throughout all the chapter so your basic fundamentals should be very clear so your fundamentals should be clear and what does this fundamental entails see when i am talking or making this video this is completely for students I have been out of touch with math for a long, long time, maybe five years, seven years, or who are who are not good at math, or who have not been good at math during their school days even. Some fundamentals are required. What are those fundamentals? You should know the concept of SCF, LCM. Conceptually, what does it exactly means? that is more important ju than just finding out the SCF and LCM. You should know how to. add fractions 2 by 3 plus 8 by 9 you should know how to add fractions you should know the basic fundamentals of board math you should know solving linear equations and whether it is in one variable or two variable you should know some basic calculations of uh, simplifying the basic calculation you should also know uh, sim i'm just writing it down so that it becomes easy for you, you and above all i see that some basic tools are definitely required like remembering tables tables till 30 so if you don't remember table you're solving to some extent and then you take a lot of time in doing some basic calculation that's very bad you should know tables till 30 you should know a square of a number till 30 you should know at least cubes of a number till 15 so this basic ground work should be ready so that you apply or you are able to go further to any of the chapters of quant quants now breaking the whole quants into various segments is very important now let's get into the core study uh, approach of quantitative aptitude now ratio proportion and percentage is the fundamental chapter of the arithmetic so this chapter as a whole may have a very small weightage in terms of the weightage that you calculate but this lays down a very good foundation for at least 70% of the syllabus yes exactly 70% of the syllabus people do not spend time this is the concept or core of good number of chapters i'll list it down first is your profit and loss 
इट्स कंप्लीटली एन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ रेशियो एंड परसेंटेज एंड नथिंग एल्स आई बीन रिपीटेडली सेइंग टू स्टूडेंट्स हु आर इन आर इंस्टीट्यूट एंड ओवर द इयर्स दिस इज हाउ एग्जैक्टली इट वर्क्स कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट एंड सिंपल इंटरेस्ट इज जस्ट एन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ रेशियो एंड परसेंटेज सो इफ दिस चैप्टर इज नॉट डन यू विल really struggle with each of these chapters but once this chapter is done all these chapters are just a cake walk for you similarly time speed and distance time and walk pipes and cistern and very important that constitutes at least one third of your test net syllabus that is data interpretation it's just a core application of ratio percentage data interpretation log data interpretation independently padhna shuru kar dete hain without having a good command over ratio percentage i don't know uh, it could be nothing could be a bigger mistake than that at least for studying quants to for the test net level so this entails if you look at the chapters that i have mentioned over here this itself makes 70% of your syllabus for 30 marks and this will take time people try to find ki wo turant efforts ka turant result mile wo nahi hoga every subjects has its own nature of giving result so you'll have to be little patient with quants aisa nahi hoga ki har ek topic aapke do din mein ya teen din din mein hote chale jaye aur sab kuch effectively ho kuch time lagega aapko is particular chapter mein on an average i have seen that at least 7 days are more than sufficient so with all patience you'll have to bear this concept of 7 days when i'm talking of ratio and percentage in detail once this is done all this chapter is just ek se do din ka kaam bahut aasani se aap kar loge and 70% of your syllabus is done now the other topics that we have are just you can single it out those are very easy topics you get a direct one questions from those topics i list it down so this makes the 70% of your syllabus the other topics are very easy quadratic equation you'll definitely get one or two question quadratic equation very easy exponents and logarithms so most of us know exponents that is pars but log usually we take up those topics uh, in our curriculum in class 11th and 12th so this would be something new for you trust me it's a very easy topic which follows the concept from exponents logarithm one or two questions from this particular topic set theory one question from this topic this low asking question from stats mean median mode statistics and height and distance what else is remaining basic geometry basic geometry you don't have to be not a cat or a high level aptitude geometry basic geometry and mensuration that's all means each of these topic will hardly take two days very easy topics single topics and effectively your 90% of the syllabus is done i just missed out few topics here which follows from the same concept that is mixture and averages so averages takes concept from the statistics section even and the concept from the ratio and proportion very easy topic now whatever is remaining is the logical reasoning questions or the lr topic of the quantitative aptitude 
Now, LR of test is very easy. In fact, we have seen that from past two years, there are hardly any questions from the LR. And the question that used to come in the LR, one or two questions, those are also very fundamental. The topics of the LR are number series, standard number series, letter series, or uh, numbers in and from figures, missing value in figures, or direction sense question. You know, just basics of it, one or two day. You don't have to eventually spend a good number of time. This is not a cat level logical reasoning that is being asked. So if you are very comfortable with, you know, uh, dealing with numbers in this particular section, all these things are very easy. You just uh, need a little bit of practice, some concept how to approach it, and this would do. One or two questions is asked from the LR topic these days from the last three, four years that we have been seeing. So you see that this should be your correct approach towards learning mathematics. Also, try to have an app, your approach or your solving question should be very aptitude based not mathematical based mathematics would be just used as a tool wherever it is needed or minimal need of it everything boils down to how simply uh, how are you able to simplify the concept of a particular chapter or break down the question into its simplistic form that unless and until you study you practice you take up good classes or uh, you know you, uh, you read a uh, good concept from the books then only that would eventually come and of course practice is a necessary condition so this should be a very clear and a smooth approach to get in for your mathematics section and trust me mathematics will always give you marks in very tough paper in fact mathematics will always sail you through so that becomes very important so i hope you got a very clear idea ki how your approach should be towards this particular subject that's exactly we do in our uh, course seven we have good number of fundamental lectures so at least your fundamentals should be clear because those basic tools that we'll be constantly using across all topics should be very handy to you and then we go to the topics as such we spend good number of times in this particular chapter and all the allied chapters based on this particular topics becomes a cakewalk and we individually take up these particular topics and clear the whole syllabus that's all i hope that would be helpful we also have a full course for the uh, testnet preparation where you get a complete self-paced learning module the whole recorded video lectures which comprises the complete course so that you can study at your own pace and time also we have live classes completing the whole syllabus through the live classes a weekly target and a test on those targets at the same time we have 24 into 7 instant doubt support over the whatsapp also you get full length mocks sectional mocks and any sort of personal mentorship that is needed for your preparation is available it is priced it is very affordable you can check in the link in there that's it there in the description section having said that if you are liking this content if you are following this youtube channel do subscribe to it now we'll be very frequently putting up more information related to courses preparation strategy for your coming testnet 2024 that's all thank you